Dr. Bosworth, thanks for joining us. We're talking about something people in East Texas understand, and that's sweat. Mm -hmm. We're talking about specifically too much sweating, so let's talk about that. Is it possible for someone, truly, to sweat too much? Well, um, there's varying degrees of how much each individual sweats, and some people sweat more than others, um, but I, there, it is possible that you can sweat too much. And if you sweat too much, why is that bad, other than it being uncomfortable? Um, well, some people, it, uh, it is very uncomfortable, and some people, they're bothered by it psychologically. It, it interferes with social interactions. They're afraid to shake people's hands if they're sweating too much in their palms. Um, in terms of exercise, if you're, if you're exercising too much and you're sweating too much and not replacing your losses, um, then that can be dangerous. Or if you're replacing your losses with just plain water instead of replacing sodium, then you can have problems with electrolyte balances. So what are the causes of excess sweating? Uh, well, there's two types of basically ex excess sweating. One is primary, where you may have too many sweat glands, um, and then you just produce more sweat than the average person does. Um, there are other medical causes that people can sweat too much, um, such as diabetes, obesity, thyroid disease, and certain medications. Can sweating too much be dangerous? Um, not necessarily, not necessarily dangerous. Um, I alluded earlier to about sweating too much in terms of exercise and not replacing um, the sodium that you could lose. And then if you do replace um, excess loss in terms of water uh, and not replacing sodium, then that could be a problem causing low sodium levels. Five dollar word, hyperhidrosis, uh -huh. excess sweating. Uh -huh. Is it hereditary? Um, they, we have found that there is, it does run in families, and so many people who have hyperhidrosis or excess sweating, they tend to have family members who have the same problem. Children, can they be victims of this? Can they have Absolutely. hyperhidrosis? Absolutely. So this can start in childhood. Um, probably as early as elementary school age, children can start having this. One of the things that we deal with, particularly here in East Texas, when it gets hot, is you know the the odor attendant to sweating. Are, are there are there over the counter antiperspirants that are better for treating excessive sweating? Well, if you feel like you, you sweat more than the average person, um, and and generally, if you feel like you sweat just you know without being under stress or exercising or being in, in, in heated areas or environments, but you just naturally sweat too much, you could try to go for the clinical strength. Uh, clinical strength antiperspirants. Um, deodorants generally will decrease the amount of sweat and then try to decrease the odor causing bacteria versus antiperspirants, especially the clinical strength, will use certain chemicals to completely stop uh, perspiration. If you're prone to this, if it is if you have a hereditary tendency or you have excess sweat glands or you just you just sweat a lot, can it be treated? Mm -hmm. Um, there are many different things that we can do to treat hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, especially if it's bothersome to you. Um, you know, first line, definitely you want to try over-the-counter clinical strength antiperspirants. Um, weight loss is a huge help for an uh, hyperhidrosis, mainly because the obese patients, they generally can't cool themselves off and sweat as well. Um, and so weight loss would definitely help with that. Uh, the type of food that you choose, so obviously eating fruits and vegetables are better for you, but they're also better for you in the sense that they're easy, easier to digest um, and they have less toxins in them. When you eat spicy food or fatty foods that have high toxins in them or make you sweat more, um, that could be problematic. Um, people who really suffer with um, excessive sweating, there's uh, electric current treatments that, that you can have done, even Botox treatments, and then the last day would be surgical treatments. Doctor, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.